We're here at Horse Thief Lake Campground and we just got our tent set up. Parking's up that way. It's not too far. We've taken that tent further. Dad, I broke my ankle. Did you fall? No. Can you get up? Is there a landing somewhere? Oh, they have tent sites. Is there like a regular shore or is this just... Oh, um, yeah, that's right. I remember now. I can see it. There's a trail that goes all the way around the lake, I believe. Well, there are the stairs. Oh, there you go. Frog. Hey, look. Frog ads. Oh, look, it's a frog. Or are they technically like shrimp or something? They swim. All right, let's see how cold this is. Cold? It's not, no, it's not that bad. It's not cold. What's the okay. like? It's not bad. All right. Actually, I, tomorrow morning, why don't we go walk that trail? Good morning. It's Thursday, July 29th, and today Sam is flying in with my baby boy Jack. And hopefully, we'll go grocery shopping because uh, I still haven't broken out the Coleman propane stove because I'm waiting on some fresh ingredients to keep in the cooler. So, I've been cheating a little bit. Cold brew coffee from the gas station. But uh, that'll be a fun element to uh, incorporate into our experience. So, I'm taking a little morning walk and get the blood pumping, wake up a little bit, let the girls sleep a little bit more. Now, before we show a few spots around the lake, let me tell you a little about the campground and the area in general. Horse Thief Lake Campground is between Mount Rushmore and the western terminus of State Highway 244. At that point, going north leads to Hill City, and south leads you to Custer, so there's plenty of access to touristy-type stuff to see either direction from camp. Have you noticed the narrow dotted lines on the map? Those indicate miles and miles of scenic hiking trails that you can access from this very campground. I wish I knew about this while we were there, but unfortunately, we just didn't go far enough up the campground road. If I had, I would have found the trailhead linking to the entire system of the Black Elk Wilderness Area you see south of Highway 244 here. Next time, we're definitely making our way to Black Elk Peak to see the highest elevation east of the Rocky Mountains at 7,241 feet. There's a mix of camper and tent specific sites here. RV spots have a spur length of 50 feet, and you might find it helpful to know that if you intend to tent camp like we did, you'll be looking for a T before the site number when you arrive. The tent pad was a nicely prepared level surface using pea gravel as the aggregate. It was easy to drive the stakes in and they came out with a firm tug. There was also a nice fire pit. Overall, it was a beautiful quiet stay and the best campground of our entire three weeks on the road. The campground host was friendly and they also sell ice on site. I'm not afraid of what's in these things.
natural stone wall. That's really cool looking. To wrap it up, I'd say Horse Thief is as close to a sure bet as it gets, and hopefully you find this video helpful in your adventures to come. Next up, we explore Foster Gulch Road. Thanks for watching.